my love my entire life, so it'd probably be something in, in, in you know, in the baseball industry. I'd probably coach or something, even though my dad get mad at me. You'd be a good one too. All the way up here. How old are you? I'm 23, <laughs> and actually I'll turn uh, 24 on Friday. Right here. position to play. Um, you know, pitching was kind of hard for me. Uh, I, I love pitching. Um, I was okay at it, but it's something I had to work at really hard. Um, and it's something that took a toll on your body as well. You know, I would have arm problems sometimes, and uh, I think that's probably what made it the hardest for me. Right here. How do you keep yourself from getting discouraged after you strike out? Great question. Yeah, that's a very good question. I think the main thing is, like I said earlier, is just to know that you can help the team in other ways. And that's where defense comes in for me. Um, you know, if you know we have somebody on base in the last inning and, and I can make a diving play or a turn double play or something like that, well, I just help contribute to the team. And that strikeout that I had an inning earlier, a couple of innings earlier, just doesn't matter anymore. So you just got to know that later on in the game, you can make a defensive play, or you still have another bat, and you can get a and you can get a hit to win the game or something like that. Okay, over here, these guys are jumping out of the chairs. What do you got? Did you repeat that with you? Have I ever hit an inside the park home run? Um, I don't think so, but I might have maybe in Little League. But like I said, I'm not that fast, so there's a good chance that I have. Right here. Well, I try to avoid bunting anytime I can. I'm not very good at that either. But actually, in college, we. Uh, uh, Coach Guido, I, I went to the University of Texas. He he was huge on money. It didn't matter what, what where you were in the lineup, you were gonna bunt. I batted third. If there was somebody on base with no outs, I was bunting. So uh, and he demanded the best out of me. So I was, a, I was an all right bunter in uh, in college, and, and he gave us a sign to do that. Bobby Guido was uh, and is the head coach at the University of Texas. He was my coach when I went to Cal Poly, and he is from Vallejo here. If anybody didn't know about that, one of the in fact he's won more games. Than any coach. Yeah, exactly. And you and awesome. I can both attest. You learned a lot of baseball from Bobby Green. Exactly, and I would not, you know, that's one thing that I'm, I'm very glad I went to college. And I didn't want to do that out of high school. I wanted to get drafted out of high school. I wanted to play professional baseball out of high school. Did not want to go to college at all. But when I went to college, I matured so much as a person, as a baseball player, I would have changed it to the world. All right, up here. Okay, girls play on the Giants, too. You know what? I think if you're good enough, then anybody can play on the Giants. So I don't think that would be opposed to having you there. <laughs> there have been girls in uh, professional baseball. Uh, there have been women pitchers. There was one uh, left-hand knuckleball reliever that was really good. And uh, she got to high A ball. And uh, I think that's pretty darn good. But the bottom line is, if you're good enough, you can play. Welcome. Right here. How do you prepare for a fastball? Well, once again, it depends on who's throwing it. All right, Jamie Moyers, you know, 79 miles per hour. How do you prepare for that fastball? Uh, you know, I, I'm one of those guys, I, I move around the box a lot. So if this is somebody that's throwing slower, I'm going to scoot to the front of the box and start my load a little bit later. If it's someone who goes hard, like Kershaw or, you know, somebody like that, I'm going to scoot back a little bit and I'm going to start my load earlier. I mean, it's just, you don't want to change your swing too much or anything like that. You just want to start at the time when you load. Are you referred to the load here a couple times now. Can you show them what a load is when you swing? Yeah, absolutely. So, I have a very low load just because I'm more of a rhythm type of area. But, um, you know, a load is just going to kind of load up your hand. So it's going to be, you know, something like that. And so the pitch is coming. And it gets everything started. It gets everything set in motion. And that's what, uh, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a load. All right, right here. Somebody got to help us out, we couldn't hear. Well, you know what else? Were you good at playing baseball when you were a kid? Uh, you know, I think I was okay. I mean, I uh, was just one of those. I was the same, same player, type of player as I am now. I just wanted to put the ball in play. And, um, you know, fortunately, I hit the ball all right every now and then. And I was able to get a few home runs. And I went to the World Series. I think that's what you uh, measure how I uh, measure how good you are. Please welcome one of the greatest 
relief pitchers in San Francisco Giants history, Sergio Romo.